More than half of these workers will be given their pink slips Friday because of the Navy decision. At an early morning meeting, company president Fred Wynn called the Navy move a slap in the face to Horn Brothers and told workers he was sorry about the layoffs, but without the contract, there just wasn't enough work. Employees are bitter towards the Navy and worried. Well, taking money out of our pocket, you know, and without a job, you can't pay your rent and you can't eat, so it's rough. Man, so a lot of people have house payments, a lot of people have car payments, families to take care of, and this puts them out of a job. They might find a job tomorrow, they might not find a job until a month. The Plymouth Rock came to Horn Brothers in April of 1980 and was supposed to be completed by February 20th. Although the ship is more than 94% overhauled, the Navy refused to grant an extension and is moving the vessel to the Norfolk Naval Shipyard in Portsmouth, which many workers say makes no sense. We want to pull it somewhere else and uh, start all over again from where we left off, and I don't see how they can finish in the same amount of time. Uh, we understand it's going to be months more. Meantime in March, Horn Brothers is supposed to overhaul the USS Saginaw, and perhaps some of the men will be rehired. But for now, few are optimistic. Vepco's up, groceries up, everybody's up. I'm down. <laughs> the Navy's refusal to grant an extension is somewhat puzzling, not only because several extensions have been granted to other shipyards around the country, but also in view of the fact that since the original contract was negotiated, the Navy has requested more than 800 changes, which require several extra hours of manpower. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Newport News. Workers who were to be laid off at Horn Brothers Shipyard in Newport News were notified this morning and many were milling around until lunchtime to leave the job. Workers watched the crew of the USS Plymouth Rock, anchored only a few yards away, prepare the ship for towing to the Naval Shipyard in Portsmouth. Although Horn Brothers had completed about 95% of the overhaul, the Navy says the move is being made because the project is behind schedule and costing more than anticipated. I was one of the fourth ones I didn't get laid off, but I feel kind of sorry for the other ones, you know, where things are. It's quite a blow. It's great, no pain, you know. Fantastic. <laughs> Come to shop to them. I, I'm not doing as bad as some of these other people. A whole lot of these people got bills, though, got family. There ain't nothing to say. You got a family? Yes, I got a family and two kids. What are you going to do? I really don't know. Was it a blow to you? No. That's, that's life, I guess. I, I don't know what to do about it. The Navy doesn't know how long the Plymouth Rock will be in Portsmouth, but it feels the Naval Shipyard will be able to complete the overhaul without delay or cost increases. Ava Hurdle, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Newport News.